Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our work on ScaleDB, which is an in-memory database that provides multi-core scalability by asynchronously updating range index data structures while continuing to guarantee serializable transactional isolation. Scalability of in-memory databases has been the subject of a decade of exciting research, which has been propelled by their increasing industrial adoption, as well as the shifting of the performance bottleneck of database systems from storage to multi-core CPU contention, given the low latency access to data in DRAM. However, we have not yet solved the problem because database scalability is still limited. In particular, range indexes have proven difficult to scale. Despite a long line of great research on scaling range index data structures, a recent SIGMOT 2018 paper compared the six best range index designs under various workloads, and their conclusion is that none of them scale well. Despite their sophisticated designs, the fundamental problem here is that these are hierarchical data structures whose scalability will naturally be limited under contention. However, any database that needs to support fast scans of records in sorted order requires range indexes. To understand how range indexes can suffer contention under concurrent access from multiple threads, consider this example of a B plus tree where transactions T1 and T2 running on different threads are trying to insert two different keys with values 15 and 35 respectively into different nodes. They need spin locks on these nodes to prevent race conditions. If the nodes, uh, if the nodes are full, then the transactions will need to lock the parent node since the children need to be split and new pointers need to be added to the parent. However, here they need to synchronize on the same node. And this contention can potentially extend to multiple levels until the root of the tree, as long as the internal nodes are full. Now, it seems like this synchronization is unavoidable. Otherwise, we can end up corrupting the internal structure of the B plus tree. However, it's important to consider the context in which these range indexes are used. Consider this simple example of a database with a single table where the range index we saw earlier is actually the primary range index on the social security number column, and it allows fast point queries on this table, such as find the person with SSN30, as well as, with, as, well as fast scans of records in sorted order. There is also a secondary index which allows analytical queries, such as find all the persons named Cal. The two transactions we saw earlier running on separate threads were actually trying to insert two new records into this table with SSNs 15 and 35 respectively. The key reason for the poor database scalability here is that in current architectures, these two transactions try to synchronously update all range indexes at the time of commit, which causes contention on the range indexes. Our key observation here is that if this database provides serializability as an isolation guarantee, then there's no fundamental requirement due to that guarantee to synchronize the insertion of these two records. These two records can be inserted in either order in the database without violating serializability. Instead, this contention is an artifact of the mechanism used in the database's implementation, in this case, range indexes, we refer to this unnecessary contention as mechanism contention. The idea here is to separate the guarantee provided by a system to its clients from the implementation of that guarantee. So now that we know that the contention caused by synchronous range index updates can be unnecessary, the question that informs the design of ScaleDB is, can we avoid range index mechanism contention to scalably guarantee serializability with high performance? And to answer this question, we further identify an implicit assumption of prior database architectures, which is that immediately after a transaction commits, its writes may be read in a range scan by another transaction. Therefore, for enforcing serializability, any write that impacts a range index is synchronously inserted in all primary and secondary indexes of a table. But is this assumption exercised in common database workloads? We conducted an experiment where we measured the latency between the last time a record is written, that is inserted or updated, and when it's read as part of a range scan. We call this the write to range scan latency. 
So we took three application benchmarks from the OLTP benchmark suite with varying write intensity and ratio of rain scans in their workload. These were TPCC, ePinions, and SEATS. We then instrumented them to measure the write to rain scan latency. We report the latency of rain scans for TPCC separately since they behave quite differently, which is why there are three lines for TPCC. You can see a CDF of this latency distribution in the figure where the x-axis shows the latency in milliseconds on a log scale. The black line with circles is the sum order amount rain scan in the TPCC delivery transaction, whose low write to rain scan latency was due to an update followed by a rain scan within the same transaction. And we explain in the paper how we deal with this. The rest had latencies in many hundreds of milliseconds to seconds in the common case. The high-level picture gained from this analysis is that, for range queries, reading recently written records is the exception rather than the rule. I don't show the analysis for point queries here for brevity, but we found that low write to point query latencies were indeed common. Building on this analysis, the foundation of ScaleDB's design is that to solve this problem of poor database scalability due to range index mechanism contention, we need to holistically revisit the database architecture instead of investigating range index scalability in isolation. The design principle building on this foundation and the earlier analysis is that ScaleDB, in ScaleDB, range indexes are asynchronously updated. The design of ScaleDB introduces two key novel ideas. First, to asynchronously update range indexes, we introduce a new hash-based data structure called the indexlet, which is used to temporarily store committed transaction rights, avoiding, uh, avoiding mechanism contention. Second, we develop a new concurrency control protocol for this new database architecture where range indexes can be left temporarily stale. So indexlets, as I mentioned, allow temporarily storing committed transaction rights while avoiding mechanism contention. The way they do that is that unlike traditional hash indexes, they don't need rehashing. We avoid rehashing by bounding the number of rights held in each indexlet. Indexlets use the table's primary key as their key, so there's exactly one per table. Indexlets are written synchronously at transaction commit and record all transaction rights, including inserts, updates, and deletes. Periodically, the writes in indexlets are flushed as a batch into range indexes. This is done atomically by each thread at the end of per thread merge epochs. So to understand asynchronous range index updates in more detail, consider again our running example, but this time with the ScaleDB architecture. Now, for each table, in addition to the primary range index, there's also an indexlet. When the two transactions, T1 and T2, now insert the two unrelated records with keys 15 and 35 respectively, they can do so synchronously in the indexlet at the time of commit without incurring any mechanism contention. Periodically and asynchronously, each thread flushes its writes in the indexlet to the range indexes at the end of its merge epoch. In this simplified example, each thread has a single record in its batch, but you can imagine that they're generally many. So in this case, first the red thread asynchronously merges its writes into the range indexes. And then sometime later, the green thread does the same without any range index contention. The basic design of a database with asynchronous range index updates already works for non-transactional queries. So now to support serializability for transactions, we designed a new concurrency control protocol called asynchronous concurrency control, or ACC, which is based on optimistic concurrency control with which it integrates asynchronous range index updates. ACC uses the assumption, based on the analysis I showed earlier, that range indexes can be left temporarily stale without performance consequences. For point queries, things are simple. ACC first checks the indexlet, and if not found, then it goes to the range index. This builds on an analysis shown earlier that point queries have low write to point query latency. On the other hand, range queries go directly to the range indexes. But phantoms present a problem. So what are phantoms? Phantoms are violations of the guarantee where a range scan in a transaction misses a prior insert. Phantoms are a non-trivial problem, especially in an asynchronous database, because as I mentioned in the previous slide, ACC performs range scans directly on the range indexes. When validating the transaction, we cannot easily tell if an insert matching the range scan predicate has been inserted into the indexlet unless we scan the entire indexlet. To solve this problem, ACC uses phantomlets. These are phantom detection indexlets 
one phantom let is maintained per primary or secondary range index. When a transaction that has done inserts is about to commit, ACC inserts phantom indicators into the phantom lets of all range indexes affected by the insert. Committing transactions then validate their range scans by checking the for phantom indicators in phantom lets. So again, let's understand this with a quick example. Transaction T1, which is inserting a record with key 35 in the index let, inserts a phantom indicator for the orange index node whose range intersects with the value 35. This is done atomically at transaction commit. The phantom indicator consists of the concatenation of the indexes, index node's memory address and its current version number as the key and a counter as its value. On the other hand, a transaction T2 that does a range scan on all social security numbers greater than 30 misses the insert with key 35 done by T1. When validating, T2 checks the phantom let for any phantom indicators intersecting with the index nodes on its range scan at the version that it read them. If it finds any, as it does in this case, then it aborts. There are a lot of other interesting details of ACC and ScaleDB for which I invite you to read the paper, but I'm going to skip them here in the interest of time. Instead, let's see some evaluation. We compare ScaleDB with the Cicada database, which was published in Sigmund 2017 and has been shown to outscale the prior in-memory databases I referenced on the first slide. Our goal here is to understand the impact of range index mechanism contention on database scalability. In order to do that, we evaluate on the TPCC benchmark and configure it for low contention by pegging the number of warehouses to number of threads. As a result, each thread almost always operates on its own warehouse, and the scalability in either database can only be bottlenecked by mechanism contention on range indexes. In addition, for Cicada, we evaluate on both partitioned and shared range indexes. By default, the Cicada prototype partitions TPCC tables and their associated indexes by warehouses. There is one partition per warehouse. This ap approach avoids mechanism contention on range indexes, but it's limited to applications where the database can be cleanly partitioned and where most transactions access only a single partition. Comparing this approach with the more commonly used approach of range indexes shared across threads further allows us to isolate the impact of range index mechanism contention. We evaluate on a 36 core Intel machine with each thread pinned to its own core. Here's the evaluation for TPCC scalability. The x-axis shows the number of threads in the database that can process transactions. The y-axis is the raw good put in units of thousands of transactions per second. Good put means we only count transactions that successfully commit. ScaleDB only has a shared index configuration, which is why it has a single line in the graph. So ScaleDB scales 22.3x relative to its own single core good put, in contrast to Cicada's shared index configuration, which gets bottlenecked due to range index mechanism contention and scale 6.4x. Cicada's range index bottleneck is further confirmed by the scalability of its partitioned index configuration with scales 20x. At scale, ScaleDB's raw good put is 1.8x better than Cicada's shared index configuration. This graph shows the underlying reason for the poor scalability of Cicada on the shared index configuration. Cicada's indexes are multivergent, which means that instead of threads contending to modify the same index node, Cicada creates a new version in thread local memory whenever an index node needs to be modified due to inserts or deletes. However, in order to enforce serializability, Cicada needs to validate index node versions using the same transaction protocol used for records. This validation can fail, resulting in transaction aborts. As a result, range index contention in Cicada shows up as transaction aborts. As the graph shows, aborts are extremely low for the partitioned index configuration, but very high for the shared index configuration. Finally, we also show ScaleDB's abort rate, which is important to understand given its asynchronous design and the fact that transactions can abort due to stale reads from range indexes in between epoch merges. The overall abort rate for TPCC remains very low with increasing number of threads, only the delivery and stock level TPCC transactions had a non-negligible abort rate. The reason is that both of these transactions do multiple range scans on tables which receive heavy insert and update activity from the new order transaction. However, the abort rate for even those transactions stabilizes or continues to stay low at scale, which implies that scalability should not be affected beyond 36 cores.
To conclude, ScaleDB is a scalable serializable in-memory database that uses an asynchronous architecture to avoid range index mechanism contention. It uses two key ideas to build an asynchronous database, asynchronous range index updates using index lists, and a new concurrency control protocol called ACC that builds on this to provide serializable transactions. And ScaleDB transcends the limitations of a decade of isolated approaches to provide 1.8x better good put than Sakira on TPCC, and we'll be releasing uh, the code for this soon. Thank you. <laughs>